back to another video hope you are doing good thank you guys for coming back if you're watching my video for the first time you're highly welcome my name is Cynthia and to my returning subscribers thank you so much guys for always coming back to watch my video I love you guys in today's video we're gonna be making this a uh, cow neck and um, top or blouse this is a requested video from one of my subscribers yeah that's what we're gonna be making today I'll be showing you guys the simplest way to make this blouse I won't be using a pattern paper, I'll be drafting it direct on my fabric. So this is the simplest method you can use. There's no need of you using the slash and spread method. This is very easy and simple. So this is the fabric I'm making use of. I'm making use of one and a half yards of uh, crepe fabric. It's a little bit stretchy. So let's get started. As you can see, I folded my fabric into two. So we'll go ahead and uh, place the measurement. This is the simplest method to make a cow neck top or blouse. So I'll place my take my measurement. So I'm cutting out the front first. And I have a 36 inches here. That's for the front part. My fabric is folded into two. This is my starting point. I'll mark 12 inches right from here. I'll make a straight line here. I will fold the 12 inches like so. When you fold these 12 inches inside, you have 24 inches. I will be cutting out 24 inches for the back side. So I will go to this upper part here, mark 11 and half inches here. This is for size large. If you're making a medium size, you can mark 11 inches. You reduce it by half inch. So right on this shoulder here, I will go down by 3.5 inches. Alright, from this 3.5 inches, I will take the armhole measurement. So I'll mark 8 inches for the armhole measurement. 8 inches for half of the armhole measurement. You can place your table like so. And then curve it. And this is the chest line. So I will take the waist measurement from shoulder to waist is 17 inches. This side is the hip measurement, 24 inches. This is the hip line and this is the waist line. I will place a quarter of the post measurement here. The quarter of the post measurement is 10 and a half inches. I will add one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance. That is 12 and a half inches. Is a free top so I'll go to the waistline place a quarter of the waist measurement a quarter of the waist measurement is 9.5 inches I will add one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance that is 11 and a half inches a quarter of the hip measurement is 11 and a half inches I will also add two inches for sewing allowance and the ease so that's 13 and a half inches I connect it right from the chest line to the waist line and from the waist to the hip. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. I'll come to this side here 
and they go inside by half inch. Just make it slant here. I'll cut out the slant, the half inch slant. When you put it up, you have something like this. This is the trip. So we set this aside and cut out the back side. So I folded the back side into two. So I cut out 24 inches for the back length. The front one is 36 inches. So you minus the 12 inches because I folded 12 inches inside. When you minus the 12 inches, you'll be left with 24 inches. So this is 24 inches. I use the 12 inches to turn the front neckline. So that is why this one is longer than this. The actual length is 24 inches. So for the back, I will make 24 inches. I'll mark a seven and a half inches for half of the shoulder. The round shoulder is a 15 inches. I will mark three and a half inches for the wideness of the neck. I will mark two inches for the back depth. I will go to the side here, take one inch for shoulder slope right on the shoulder here then connect the shoulder slope to the neckline so right from the shoulder slope I will mark 8 inches so this is half of the random pole measurement I will make a straight line here so this is now my chest line I will place the post measurement here. A quarter of the post measurement is a ten and a half inches. I will see add one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance. That's twelve and a half inches. Make a line here. Look for the midpoint of this eight inches. Now we connect it. From shoulder to the waist is 17 inches, and the, this 24 inches is the hip line. So I'll place the waist and the hip measurement. The waist measurement is 38 inches, divided by 4 is 9.5 inches. I will still add 2 inches for ease and sewing allowance. That's 11.5 inches. The hip measurement is 46 inches, divided by 4 is 11.5 inches, plus 2 inches for ease and sewing allowance. That's 13 and a half inches. So I will connect it from the chest line to the waist line and from the waist to the hip. So I will go ahead and cut it out. Cut out a, a bias tape to hem the neckline. So I will use this to hem the back neckline. We'll be cutting out the sleeves now. I'll be adding elastic to the tip of the sleeve. I folded my sleeve into two. I have 25 inches for the sleeve. I'll use one inch for the elastic. So I'll place the ample measurement, which is 8 inches plus 1 inch sewing allowance. That's 9 inches. 
and mark my nine inches here. I'll mark four inches down. Normally the random hole is eight inches divided by two is a four inches. But I will add extra five inches to it because of the elastic. And I will make this place a little bit free. It's not a fitted sleeve. So I'll take it like so. Of it and then bring it down to this random hole measurement. As you can see, I didn't make any curve here because I want it free. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. I'm cutting out two of these. So that's just it for the cutting. We'll go ahead and put the fabric together. First, I will use the facing to him the neckline, right side facing right side, just so it turn it to the other side. I finish using the facing to turn the back neckline. So I'll open it and turn it to the right side. So we'll go ahead and join the front and the back together. This is the front part. I've turned it to the right side. I will take this, place it like so. I'll use one inch to join the side. Use one inch to join the side. Take the shoulder, place it on this shoulder, place it like so, and bring this to cover up this. So we stitch it with half inch. Then we we'll take this side also. This is the shoulder. Place it like so and use this to cover it up. I'll use half inch to stitch the side also. After I've finished sewing the side, then stitch the shoulder together. So guys, I'm done joining the shoulder and the side together. This is the right side. You can see the, the drape at the front. So this is the wrong side. This is the wrong side. This is the shoulder and the neckline. I use an overlock machine to tidy up the edges here. I'll turn it back to the right side. can see the trip here so what we are going to do is to join the sleeve together and attach it to the top so I will use one inch to stitch the side of the sleeve and hem it here I already hem the button here I fold one inch inside so this is one inch I fold a quarter of an inch inside hem it round I left one inch open here this is where I'm going to insert my elastic you will sew the side first, use one inch to join the side first, then uh, fold one inch inside. This is for the elastic. So what we are going to do is to attach this to the armhole. So I will turn the sleeve to the right side and then turn the blouse to the wrong side. So I will tuck my sleeve inside. right side facing right side or match the side seam together I'll pin it round and the user finish to join the sleeve to the top I will also do the same thing for the other side of the sleeve so after I've done that I will use half inch to hem the bottom of the blouse I'm done attaching the sleeve to the blouse. So we'll go ahead and insert the elastic in the elastic case. So we'll go ahead and insert the elastic to the tip of the sleeve. The round sleeve I'm working with is 8 inches. So I have about uh, 7 inches elastic here. You can reduce it to 6 inches if you want it very tight. So I will go ahead and use my safety pin to insert the elastic. I will pass it through this one inch I left and sewed.
It will come out from the other side. I will use the zigzag stitch to stitch the elastic together and uh, stitch up the one inch I left unsewed. Finish attaching the elastic. So this is the other side of the sleeve. You can also make the sleeve fitted if you don't want it bogus. It's as simple as that. Instead of making a slash and spread, you use this method. This is very simple and easy to make. So guys, we have come to the end of today's tutorial. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I will see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.